Hello, I'm Paul, the author of the Turtle Care Guide on turtleguidebook.com and in this short video I'm going to give you a bit of a sneak preview as to what the guide actually contains mm -hmm. and the quality of the guide. Um, we're going to look at the digital version but there is also a paperback version as well which comes with free delivery to your home address. So that option when the guide is in stock will be available on the order page. Okay, so I'm going to skim through some of the pages pretty quickly, so I hope you can keep up. Okay, so first up you can see the table of contents, so you can see the amount of in-depth information that the guide contains to help you care for your turtle better. Okay, so we've got pages on how to care for particular turtles. In general, the guide is quite generic, so most of the information applies to any type of turtle. But in the opening few pages, we do have um, a specific look at different types of turtles and give you hints and tips for that specific turtle, just so you can spot your turtle on there and then take some hints just for that specific turtle. Okay, so we've got ongoing to care for your turtle, we've got breeding turtles, we've got turtle behaviour, training turtles, all sorts of information in there. Um, and it's all really good stuff to help you care for your turtle better, give it a better life and help it to live for longer, whilst also saving you money on vet's bills as well. A healthy turtle doesn't need vet's treatment, so if you can keep your turtle healthy, you'll save a lot of money. Okay, so looking at the introduction, this talks a little bit about turtles, where they came from, um, when they were first existed on Earth, um, and also a little bit about myself as well and my own pet turtle, who's called Terry. You can see the photo of him just at the bottom there. Okay, and then after the introduction, we go into a chapter called Is a Turtle the Right Pet for You? So this looks at all of the different factors you need to take into account before buying a turtle. So if you're still deciding whether a turtle is the right pet for you, then this chapter will help you decide that. If you've already got a turtle, then don't worry, because most of the rest of the guide is all about how to care for a turtle. Okay, so just you can see there there's an image on the page. You'll see lots of images throughout the book to help illustrate the points, and everything is all nicely laid out and formatted to help you read it. Okay, so after that chapter, we go on to the common turtle profile. So you can see some of the different turtles that we've got on there. So we've got the red-eared slider, the musk turtle, or stink pot as it's known. Um, if you don't know why it's called stink pot, then you'll find out in the guide. Okay, we've got the Mississippi map turtle, painted turtle. We've got all sorts of different aquatic turtles in here. And then after the spiny soft shell, if just scroll up a little bit, the spiny soft shell, um, it's a quite a funny looking turtle, but we've even included that one because I know it's quite popular in the United States. And then we've also got profiles on some of the land turtles as well. So these are the turtles who don't live in water, they live purely on land. And then we look at some of the semi-aquatic turtles, which are often mistaken as land-dwelling turtles. So these people think that they live purely on land, when in actual fact they, they also like to swim in water from time to time as well. Okay, so then after that we've got getting started with your turtle. So if you've just bought a turtle, this is a perfect section for you, because it talks about not only where you can buy it from, but also gives you a checklist for checking that your turtle is in healthy condition. Um, so it tells you what to look for to see if the shell is in good condition or poor condition, if the skin's healthy or not healthy, the eyes and nose, all sorts of things that you can easily spot whether you're a beginner or an expert turtle carer, you should be able to spot any of these conditions and be able to check just at a glance really whether your turtle is healthy or whether it needs some treatment. Okay, so after that we then go through determining a turtle.